Hey everyone, Raw Matt. Today is one of my favorite subjects on biological immortality, and I have a story I think you'll all like. Enjoy. The earliest known Chinese treaties on alchemy were written by Ya Pu Yang, the father of alchemy. His work, called San Tsung Qi, was written about 142 AD. The three or four centuries before him were spent trying to transmutate base elements into gold, not for its intrinsic value, but because it was believed that the synergistic gold would produce extreme longevity. Ya Po Yang was a Taoist philosopher and alchemist, a native of Wu in the province of Kaliutsing in the year 121 AD. He was offered a position in the court but refused this honor. It is said that he was a lowly man from the country who had no desire for worldly power, glory, or fame, or wealth. He spent his days hunting for the elixir of immortality. The Chinese classic Ya Po Yang is actually a thesis on the preparation for the pill of immortality that he discovered. History tells us in the biography written of the immortals that he went into the mountains with three people and a dog. Two of these disciples had what he considered lacking of faith. This was probably because they did not believe in the pill that he was inventing. When the medicine was finally made and ready to be tested, he said, the golden medicine is made but should be first tested on the dog. If no harm comes to the beast, we shall take it for ourselves. Ya Po Yang fed the medicine to his dog and it died instantly. Whereupon he said, the medicine is obviously not yet done. The dog has died of it. Does this not show the divine light that has been attained? If we take it ourselves, I am afraid we shall go the same way as the dog. What is to be done? The disciples asked, what it, Would you take it yourself, as it is? To this, Po Yang replied, I have abandoned my worldly route and forsaken my home to come here. I would be ashamed to return if I could not attain the immortality. So, to live without taking the medicine would be just the same as to die from this medicine. I must take it. With those final words, he put this pill into his mouth, and he fell to the ground and died instantly. On seeing this, one of the disciples said, Our teacher was no common man. He took the medicine and died of it. He must have done that with special intention, for he was far too cautious for such a disastrous act. The disciple then went over to the medicine and took it, and he fell beside his master. The other two disciples said to one another, The purpose of taking this medicine is to, to attain longevity. Instead, taking the medicine has caused death. They left the mountain together without taking the medicine, intending to get burial supplies for their teacher and fellow disciple. After the departure of the two disciples, Po Yang revived from a tonic he had hidden in his mouth. He placed some of this well-concocted medicine in the mouth of the disciples and of the dog. In a few moments, they both revived. He took the disciple, whose name was Yu, and the dog, and went the way of the immortals. As they left the region, Ya Po gave the woodcutter a letter of thanks for, to his old disciples, who did not take the pill. The two disciples were filled with regrets when they had later read the letter.